This is the bluest natural pigment that you'll ever see. It is made out of lapis lazuli and the process is all done by hand. Let me show you the entire process of how I make my watercolors starting with the binder. I start with gum arabic pieces and dissolve them in distilled water. This can take about a week but after that I'll sift that and I'll add honey and glycerin to make a beautiful re-wetting binder. So this is the first step of making my own handmade watercolor paint. Now that I have my binder waiting, I can get started with processing the lapis lazuli. So I start with a rock like this and I ground that into smaller pieces by hand. This process repeats itself to smaller and smaller pieces until I'm left with dust fine enough to put through a sieve like this. This is one that I actually got from tea. Until I'm left with this fine blue powder. Then I start melting beeswax, pine rosin and gum mastic till I have a sticky mesh that I can mix with the powder as I've done here in the pictures. Um, after that I'm rolling this into a stick until everything is fully mixed. This I will let harden and sit for a while until I heat it up again in hot water mixed with potash and I start kneading it. It kind of needs to be worked quite a bit but as I'm doing this I see that the water turns more blue the longer I start kneading and kneading more. So what actually happens, the most blue and fine particles now are being washed out of the, the stick of pigment. And as you can see here, as I pour off the water and the pigment sinks down to the bottom, I'm left with this beautiful deep ultramarine blue. This I start sieving again until I'm left with just the very fine powdered blue. The more often you do this with a stick, the less blue the pigment will be until you are left with lapis lazuli ash. But here it looks quite light at the moment. I'm just mixing it with water and I'm actually mulling it with just water since I want to be in full control of how fine my entire batch of pigment is. So what I'm doing here, I just want to make sure that I don't make it too fine since the finer you make it, if I go too far, the less blue it will be. So this is a very precious and time consuming process since you need to keep an eye on it, you need to know what kind of feeling you're after and when I'm done I'm letting it dry on the plate. This is the pigment I will directly use to make paint out of it. It is quite a deep blue and when I start making paint out of it I won't use a muller again. Since I'm not using a muller after this I want to make sure that everything has the same size so no big things, no big particles are left in this pigment so I'm not doing this too hard I'm just making sure that everything has a very fine grain so I can just add my binder so about this process it is um, actually written down by Senino Senini and he was an Italian medieval artist um, he was the first to record this in a very detailed way and you know it has been done before it's not his way he didn't invent it but he was the first that actually wrote it down and we have those books so we can actually appreciate all the artisanal work that has been done in that time uh, it is being reprinted uh, <laughs> these were my 3d printed pens but the book is being reprinted so I can actually buy it so this is my powdered lapis lazuli pigment and I'm just adding binder here obviously I need to mix the two but I'm just doing this with a palette knife but I still want to make sure that I have a paint that is well dispersed so 
I'm taking my time and still checking if there aren't any bigger particles left in this pigment. It is done by hand, so the process is quite tedious, but I've done quite well, if I, you know, can be honest, since it is a beautiful, beautiful blue, and um, this is worth quite a lot of money, actually, as a uh, pigment, but also as a paint. It is my most expensive paint, um, uh, but really, I can't help that, looking at the price of the source material and all the labor that went into it but you know seeing it as paint beautifully drying in layers or as my dot pan um, which you'll see here um, it is just a very rich natural blue there's no fillers no extenders no brightness this is just lapis lazuli at its finest and look at it on paper uh, it has a bit of a shine, a tiny bit of a shine in it, uh, but that's just a natural mineral. It is as beautiful as it can be. If you like seeing this process, please give this video a thumbs up and hopefully I'll see you next video.